Hey guys, it's Rich Man. Today, I want to show you how to set up your Roku by turning off certain settings now, turning on other settings, and showing you some settings that you may not even know are on there. That way, you can achieve the best possible viewing experience on your Roku TV. Before we get into that though, head on down and hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. And also, make sure you smash that like button and share this video with a friend. Also, check out my second channel and subscribe to it. I'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget, don't stream anything from any of these third-party apps, whether it be a Fire Stick, Roku, or on the internet, without protecting yourself. Make sure you get yourself a VPN. That way, none of your information is exposed to the world. My personal recommendation is IP Vanish. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so you'll be helping out the Rich Man channel if you use that link. And it's going to take you to a great discount, probably the best discount of the year on IP Vanish. So check it out. Now let's get to it. So here we are in the home screen of the Roku. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to scroll up to settings. And we're going to go over to settings. And what I want to do here is go down to where it says privacy. Okay. So scroll over to advertising. And what I want to do here is limit ad tracking. Fire Stick does the same thing. It tracks you. It, it's always tracking you to see what you're looking at, uh, what kind of information they can gather from you to sell you something. So, I mean, if you like that kind of stuff, leave it on. I always turn this, I always turn this on on my Roku. So I'm going to limit ad tracking. You see the description here says limit ad tracking stops Roku from personalizing ads on this Roku device and sharing viewing data from streaming channels on this Roku device for measurement purposes. Yeah, measurement purposes. Anyway, I'm gonna make sure I check that box. Make sure I make sure the box is checked and then go back. Then you're gonna go down to Smart TV Experience. And here, what I wanna do is turn off Enable Auto Notification. Now you see Enable Auto, not a, enable auto Notifications, I can't speak today. See, it says enable, select enable auto notifications for a smart TV experience. To turn on the auto notifications, you must also select use info from TV inputs, which is right here, and press the star button for more information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down to where it says use info from TV input, and I'm gonna turn that off. It automatically turns off enable auto notification. Okay, so now we're gonna scroll back And now let's go down the system. Uh, you put in the time format, you can set the sleep timer. Now under power, this is what I like to do because a lot of times I find that the Roku's have a problem with connecting to Wi-Fi when you turn them back on. You turn the set off, you turn it on, you start streaming something, whether it be from YouTube or Netflix or whatever, and all of a sudden you get a notification saying not connected to Wi-Fi. That's really annoying. So for me, I go to power, come over here where it says fast TV start. You'll see I have it enabled. That's what you want. Enable that. By default, it comes where it's disabled. You have that enabled. When you turn your TV off, it's going to put it into a sleep mode, which means it's not going to use any additional power. Don't worry about a large power drainage. But when you go to turn it back on, it'll come on almost instantaneously and it stays connected to Wi Fi, which is the point of doing this. So that's what you really want. Another thing you want to do here is go down to system update. Make sure you're running the latest system software. You'll see here, it'll tell you when it was last checked. For me, it was November 15th, which is today, and last updated on November 12th. So no updates are needed. If there's an update needed, you definitely want to do that. Here you have something called guest mode. Now this will work if you have somebody staying with you, let's say, you know, you have a friend that's staying with you for a couple of days and they have a subscription to something that you don't have and you don't want to pay for it, 
but they want to use it. They want to use their Netflix or they want to use, you know, whatever, Disney Plus, whatever. You can go in, you can enter guest mode, you can put in a PIN number for them and they can sign in on that and then enable whatever it is that, that they have a subscription to on their device. So that's something that you might find useful. Now under advanced system settings, you'll see you, you, we can do a factory reset here, which unless you're having problems with your, your Roku, I wouldn't recommend, but let's say it's acting really buggy and, uh, and your settings are, you know, um, you're having problems with streaming or you're having problems accessing certain um, add-ons or certain apps that you've downloaded, you can do a factory reset. But just remember, it's gonna erase everything. It's gonna start like it's a brand new Roku. So keep that in mind if you do that. Here's your network reconnection reset. So if you're having problems with, with your Wi-Fi, the first thing you probably wanna do is go in here and do a network connection reset. We also have a device connect. So you'll see here it says enabling will let you pair devices such as Roku voice remote, which is what I have here, a Roku voice remote. If you like using the voice remote, you wanna make sure that's enabled. Control by mobile apps. Basically, you can control by mobile apps. It's enabled, so if you have the Roku app on, Roku app, on your iPhone or your smartphone, you can use it as a remote as well. Okay, so that's a couple of things that, that, I'm sh that I wanted to show you that you either need to turn off or you need to turn on. Now let's get into a couple of other things. So we're back to settings. And now we're gonna start at the top. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that maybe you didn't know were in there. So under network, you can scroll down and check your connection, test your network connection. You can set up a connection. You can turn on bandwidth saver. If you haven't used the remote in four hours, a message will display asking you if you're still watching. If there's no response, the channel will stop streaming and save your network bandwidth. So that's really good. That's really important. If you guys have any kind of cap, any kind of data cap, you want that switched on. Under remotes and devices, you can, you can set up a new remote. You make sure that your voice remote, you see mine's in use here, so make sure that's connected. Oh, and it also shows the battery life. If you click over to about, it'll show you I, I still, I now have a 74% battery life. And it shows you the firmware ver version and uh, that it's a voice remote, which you already, which I already knew, now you already know. So, under themes, and you'll see where I have a space theme. You might have just a standard default theme. You can go into here, you can select different theme packs. So I selected the uh, space theme pack, but there's other theme packs here. You've got the Roku uh, Natural, Jungle, Kids, and Western. So if you just click on over to that and you click on it, let's go to one I don't have. If you click on it, you can get theme pack, it's free. And then once, once you do that, if you go into it, like you see mine is checkmarked here. If I go into it, I can set the theme pack. I can remove the theme pack. Uh, I can set it up as a, as a screensaver, or I can set it up as, uh, as your basic, as your home screen, which is what I did. So you'll see here, you can go into it and you can set it up as wallpaper right here or you can set it up as just a screensaver, and there's also sounds that come along with it if you wanna turn the sounds on. Under additional themes, it also has seasonal themes, uh, which right now it doesn't have anything. It says they're temporarily, they will temporarily change the look of your menu on holidays or at other special times of the year. So I have it on, so what's gonna happen at Thanksgiving or Christmas, it's gonna change the theme of, of your home screen. Here's your screensaver wait time, and you can restore your default theme here. If you don't like any of those and you don't wanna just go in and disable them, just hit restore. Here's your accessibility options. So you've got your captions mode. If you scroll over to that, you can see it can have always on, on replay, or on mute. So, or just turned off. Captions preferred language. Of course, I have mine set to English. Caption style, so you can set the the text style, if it has an effect on it, if it has color 
what the opacity is. All kinds of different options here, guys. Under TV picture settings, here's your brightness. So if your screen is a little bit dark, you can set it to brighter, bright, normal, dark, or darker, which is a nice feature. Depending on what channel you're watching or what device you're watching from, if you're streaming from an Xbox or, you know, you, or let's say you, uh, you're you watching a, a Blu-ray from your Xbox or PS4 or PS5 now, you can go in here, you can change it. There's your, your Dolby notifications on. So if there is, if it is streaming uh, with Dolby, it'll let you know. Also, you can set the settings per input. So you see, these are all my devices here. I've got the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Fire TV, the Apple TV and live TV setup. So you can adjust the picture settings just pr by pressing OK and hitting that star button. And you can go in and select a different setting for each device if you'd like. And here's, here's my TV input. So if I were to go in under Xbox here, if I change the input, you know, that's the HDMI input it's plugged in on, on HDMI 1. I can rename it, I can remove it. And I can do the same with all of these. Your audio settings, I have my speakers turned off because I'm using my sound bar, so I don't want the, the TV speakers playing while the sound bar is playing at the same time. I want the sound bar to take over the sound. So you need to go in, you need to turn your speakers off if you're gonna use a sound bar. Now here's one for you guys with small kids. Parental controls, you wanna go in here, set yourself up with a pin number. It'll ask you for it a second time. That way you don't have, uh, have the youngsters around the house uh, watching something that you, you don't want them to watch. Okay, also on home screen, here's where you can show, you know, the content that comes up that's like an advertisement, watch this, watch that. So you can choose to show it or hide it. That's the featured free content. Your movie store and TV store, you can choose to show it or hide it. And here's my offers, which, you know, when they're tracking you, it's going to show you what they think that you want to watch. And your shortcuts, you can add channels, subscriptions, or sleep timer that adds them to the front to your shortcuts. So I would recommend, you know, if you don't really care about the stuff that they recommend to you, just put these on hide. Just, you know, you're basically turning them off. So under subscriptions here, these are only subscriptions that are managed by Roku. If you signed up with Netflix or Hulu or any of those on another device or on your smartphone, they're not going to be managed here. So this is only stuff that you sign up through your Roku itself. Uh, here you can turn on Apple Play, so this is a nice feature if you want to stream stuff from your iPhone. Make sure that you go in here and it's going to show you the screen where you can turn on Apple Play or where you can turn on AirPlay. Uh, you see I already have it turned on here. You can require a code for first time use only. And then subtitles and about AirPlay and, and here you can set up your home kit. So that's for all you guys in the, uh, in the Apple world. And then we're back to the home screen. So that's about it for today, guys. I've covered all the basic settings on your Roku, what to turn off, uh, what, you, what you may want to leave on, what you may want to set up. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that subscription below and make sure you check out my second channel by hitting that link in the description. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.